This video was produced by the Top Cut. Be sure to check out thetopcut.net. Your home for Pokemon TCG tournament coverage, professional game analysis, and interviews with the best players in the world. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to Game Three of Virginia States. Um, Current Hill did mulligan a bunch of times, so we do see a Judge Ball coming into play. Uh, one of the drawbacks of four Pokemon only, you know, and ideally for Kern, since this is versus Durant, he would prefer to mulligan all the way up until time. So this was a necessary uh, move to do, and he draw he gets starts with Terrakion and gets a hand of six, and he gets to go first because he lost game two. So. Here we go, and we have a N. So all those cards that Eli started with just gets completely negated, and Eli's probably feeling the pressure now. You know we've had it's Durant, so we've had a long series of game one and two, and game three, he, Kern just probably went through like five minutes of mulligans. So you know if you're Durant, you're feeling the pressure. You're gonna it's, it might come down to sudden death. Uh, so, we've learned a couple things about Eli's deck. I don't believe he runs Black Belt. So, that Rotom Black Belt option is completely out of the question. And thus, the only way he can really win the game is Devour. But the way he has to do it is he has to threat the Black Belt. He has to pretend he plays Black Belt. So, he's going to need to Vice Grip the Terrakion and say, hey... I am going to Black Belt Rotom you. You better play down another Terrakion or else you're going to lose. And then he has to go, okay, uh, you've played one down. Now I'm going to capture you all game. And we're going to play normal, except you're going to run out of switches eventually because Terrakion has four retreat. So that card will never be retreating normally. And Curran just has to accept it. Uh, Curran's hand is actually kind of uh, I do see a pawn, so never mind. I, I was thinking it, it had no supporters, which is quite bad for a current. Uh, let's see if Eli has a turn one devour for four. That would be impressive. Uh, does he have the energy to go with this? Yes, he does. And here we go. Devour for four. In a second. Uh, unless he has... Okay. So he's playing the Eviolite light down, I guess just to get it out. Uh, I I also saw twins, I believe. Not bad. Uh, getting rid of those junipers, not a big deal for Karen. But he really want, wanted that energy to stay in the deck. Karen does have a loss remover, so that's going to be pretty good for him. Uh, you know, it's kind of weird when the other, <laughs> when uh, Durant is the one losing energy and the other deck is like, yeah, I have energy, you don't. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so what's Curran's options here? He's, uh, I think, I don't, he has a bunch of heavy balls. I get he's just using them now, getting rid of them. Uh, he doesn't really want to get anything with them. Uh, I, I'd almost prefer him to not use it. Well, unless he's going for the game plan of, there's no way you're going to deck me in time. I'm just going to maximize my chances of land crushing you really quickly. Getting an early prize laid and then just staying in the game until time is called. I'm not really sure uh, how this is going to happen, you know, but it's hard to say. Uh, so let's see. Does Kern get energy? Yep, he certainly does, and he even gets a Terrakion just in case the uh, land cru and just in case the gets black belted rotomed so we do see from Eli not a very good hand uh, losing that energy was pretty huge and I think the only other supporter is a twins so he's not gonna be able to activate that for a little bit and he just passes huge that's huge for Curran he, he finally he has three energy on a Terrakion now and he hasn't really lost much uh, it looks like he could just 
you know, mosey on off to a finals appearance in a relatively easy game three. Uh, you know, usually in the past two games have been very close, but Eli did get to like devour 20 cards before Curran could even take one. And now Curran is about to take his first prize. And he has like, what, seven cards in his discard, eight cards, not a big deal. Uh, so Curran has to have like the biggest grin on his face, uh, when he's, as he looks at this situation. Oh, and he even draws a hand with a ton of energy. So Crushing Hammer is actually not going to do anything, really. Uh, so let's see what Eli does. Does play the Twins down. What do you get as Eli? I guess he would get energy and maybe a Juniper or something like that. You certainly need to devour, start devouring, but you're going to get land crushed out of the game. Uh, this seems almost impossible unless you vice grip them and threat the second Terrakian to come down. So I, I don't even know if I would devour this turn. I would probably just attach it to the bench guy, to, to a bench Durant, and just say, I'm going to vice grip you, and then I'm going to black belt you out of the game, and you better have another Terrakion or else you lose. Uh, so we do see a super... Super odd level ball coming in. The replacement to revive. <laughs> uh, that, that's a cute little move. Um, four Durants coming down. And yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, Devour coming in. Nope, another junk arm. Gets rid of the Rotom. Oh, wow. That's huge. Uh, oh. Okay, I don't think he even real... Curran, I don't think Curran can lose now. Um, you know, now he just... Yeah, he just confidently puts down the fourth energy. Uh, no... Not afraid of anything. And he just... He's just gonna land crush all day here. He... Wow, um... You know, well, I don't really know what to say here. Uh, that was pretending, even just pretending he had the black belt kill was really his only option. And now that he's completely, he's with his play, he's completely signaled I'm abandoning that option. And I'm just going to try and race you. Uh, I don't think Eli can win. Uh, wow. Wow. What a... T okay. Um, yeah, Kern just keeps going land crush, land crush, land crush, and that'll be game. Uh, there's nothing really Eli can do about it. He's just waiting for some kind of shuffle draw to come into his hand to secure the game for sure, but I think he has enough cards in his deck to, uh, for it just doesn't matter. Um, let's see. So yeah, just current just has to land crush here, and yep, there we go. He got still no supporters in his hand. That's a little weird, but no, no big deal. Uh, this game should be over fairly quickly. Just got to do three more land. We just got to sit through three more land crushes, and yeah, uh, I'm kind of disappointed that he discarded the Rotom like that. Uh, that I think that was. He he won game two so handedly because he threaded the black belt kill and it forced Curran to throw down another Terrakion and because he discards Rotom, uh, that just signals that that play will not happen. Yeah, I don't I don't know what else to I don't know where else to go with this. Uh, we're just gonna. Watch as the... Well, I don't even know if that would have worked anyways. Current's hand's pretty loaded. It does have, like, two switches, junk arms. So even if that did happen, I think Curran probably would have won unless uh, Eli played an N, forcing Curran to shuffle back all those cards. But, yeah. Terrakion's pretty good in this matchup. 
when it's just Devour versus Terrakion. So we do see another Devour for four, a uh, three, for three. And uh, Curran draws a Juniper. <laughs> That's kind of, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, all he has to do is just land crush it. Oh, he's gonna use the Battle Stadium, and then land crush. Still no shuffle draw. Curran's like, ah, where? I wonder where it all is. Uh, I, I don't think it matters still, but yeah, that's. There we go. Just you just get waiting on land crush. Mulling his options over, but then just goes, yep, yeah, land crush. Uh, did not get to see what he drew. Ah, uh, he drew a Poke Gear. It's pretty good. Uh, get him finally get him a shuffle draw. It doesn't even matter what kind of shuffle draw it is. Just get so Eli just gets two more Durants, just hoping that his opponent only has eight, uh, ten cards, nine cards left in his deck, and hoping for like three crushing hammerheads. Uh, if he can get it, then so we do see one crushing hammer. Uh, second one fails. See another crushing hammer. And that one fails also. So, just a devour for four. And Curran has plenty of cards left in his deck to win this game. <laughs> he just puts another one down just for security. Uh, he's saying, yep, you have to triple Crushing Hammer me to even get back into this game. Uh, Curran might as well just Poke Gear here. I mean, just might as well just shuffle all those cards back in. Uh, there's no reason not to. Oh, there's a Copycat. There we go. It doesn't even have to shuffle that in anymore. He can just Copycat now. Or next turn. It doesn't really matter. So he is going to junk arm for a... I'm not really sure what. Uh, a loss remover. I'll just get it back into the deck, I guess. Uh, his hand is so big. <laughs> uh, this copycat's really going to seal it in next turn. And he already know, he already confirmed that he has more than f uh, four cards in his deck, so he will live this turn no matter what. Uh, and he will be able to land crush through anything because of that loss remover. So we see another devour for three, land crush, and that's game. Congratulations, Current Hill! You move on to the finals. And again, I apologize for uh, the person behind the camera, the computer. So, yep. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. And remember to watch the finals when that goes up. And follow us on Twitter at Top Cut Pokemon. And follow me on Twitter at Michael Premwatt. Uh, thanks, guys, and have a good one.